Among the forgotten stars of yesteryear lies George Raft, a prominent figure in his era whose success as an actor inspired countless people. Sadly, his story took a different turn as he faced a destitute end. Join Factsverse to learn about George Raft, a famous actor who no one remembers anymore. George Raft's Beginnings George Raft was born September 26, 1901 in New York City. He led a fascinating life that would later shape his successful career as an actor, but would also haunt him for much of his life. George's early years were marked by an immersion in the gritty world of organized crime, which would heavily influence the characters he played on screen. He grew up in the tough Hell's Kitchen neighborhood and found himself surrounded by the criminal underbelly, which had a major impression on him. He became involved in various illegal activities and worked in speakeasies as a dancer. This rather odd upbringing prepared him for his future career in acting. George honed his dancing skills in the vibrant nightlife of New York and often performed in vaudeville shows and on Broadway. His remarkable talent and stage presence garnered attention and helped open doors for him in the entertainment industry. In the early 30s, George caught the eye of director Howard Hawks, who cast him as a dancer in the film Scarface. George Raff's magnetic on-screen presence stood out, even in a supporting role, and he quickly captivated audiences and critics alike. This breakthrough role propelled his career forward and set the stage for the tough guy persona he'd become known for. Following the success of Scarface, George went on to star in a string of notable films throughout the 30s and 40s. He became synonymous with playing tough, street-smart characters, often portraying gangsters and figures from the underworld. His performances in films like Each Dawn I Die, opposite James Cagney, and They Drive By Night, alongside Humphrey Bogart, showcased his ability to bring depth and complexity to his roles. While he played a variety of roles, it's clear his gangster and villainous roles are what made him a star. His on-screen persona mirrored his real-life associations with the criminal underworld. He was acquainted with prominent gangsters such as Oni Madden and Bugsy Siegel, which lent authenticity to his portrayals of mobsters. This unique blend of personal experience and acting talent contributed to his rising popularity and solidified his status as one of Hollywood's leading men. Despite his success, he faced some setbacks in his career. He turned down roles that would have further elevated his status, including the iconic characters of Sam Spade in The Maltese Falcon and Rick Blaine in Casablanca, which were ultimately played by Humphrey Bogart. These missed opportunities, along with some poor career choices, led to a decline in his star power in the following decades. Let's take a step back and reflect upon some of his best film roles. George Raft's Best Works George Raft was renowned for his tough guy persona and the fact that no matter how big or small the role, it was he who stole the show, not to mention a few hearts from ladies in the audience. Scarface, released in 1932. Directed by Howard Hawks, this crime drama is what gave George Raft his breakthrough role. Although he played a supporting character, his portrayal of Guino Ronaldo, a loyal sidekick to Paul Muni's Tony Camonte, stole the show. His commanding presence and ability to intimidate set the stage for his future success. Each Dawn I Die, released in 1939. In this hard-hitting prison drama, George Raft starred alongside James Cagney. He played an innocent man framed for murder, showcasing his ability to embody complex and sympathetic characters. Raft's chemistry with Cagney, along with his emotional depth, elevated the film to great heights. They Drive by Night, released in 1940. Paired once again with Humphrey Bogart, Raft delivered a powerful performance in this gripping film noir. He played a truck driver entangled in a dangerous web of crime, and he displayed his signature tough guy persona, but this time he had added layers of vulnerability and resilience to his character. This showed he had tremendous range as an actor. Invisible Stripes, released in 1939. This crime drama once again showcased George Raff's versatility as an actor. He portrayed an ex-convict attempting to reform and rebuild his life. Raft's ability to convey a complex range of emotions, from desperation to determination, captivated audiences and solidified his status as a leading man. Bolero, released in 1934. In this musical drama, George showcased his talent as a dancer and showcased his dynamic range. The film highlighted his remarkable skills on the dance floor, captivating viewers with his precision and grace. Bolero demonstrated Raft's versatility beyond his tough guy image 
and allowed him to showcase his true passion. Johnny Angel, released in 1945. Raff's portrayal of a ship's captain seeking justice garnered tremendous critical acclaim. The film allowed George to display his acting range, blending elements of romance, mystery, and revenge into a captivating performance that audiences loved. Some Like It Hot, released in 1959. George Raff's role as gangster Spats Columbo in this iconic comedy solidified his status as a pop culture icon. His portrayal of a ruthless mobster with a sharp wit and suave demeanor added a memorable dimension to the film, making his scenes with Marilyn Monroe and Tony Curtis comedic highlights. While these films represent some of his standout performance, they merely scratch the surface of his extensive filmography. He was one of the biggest stars of Hollywood's golden age, and you'd think he'd never be forgotten. But sadly, that's wrong. George Raft was a famous actor, but no one remembers his name today. George Raft, once a prominent and highly sought-after actor, experienced notable decline in popularity as the years progressed. While he made some smart decisions during his career, these were negated by many foolish decisions as well as career failures. One of the significant career mistakes that impacted his growth trajectory was his habit of turning down those iconic roles, like The Maltese Falcon and Casablanca. Later in his career, he chose films that failed to resonate with audiences and were often just flops. These forgettable films, coupled with his missed opportunities, led to a decline in his star power and public appeal. Another factor that played a role was his association with the criminal underworld. Although his connections with notable gangsters added an aura of authenticity to his portrayals of gangsters on screen, it also created a perception that he was more closely aligned with the seedy underbelly of society than with the glamorous world of Hollywood. He wasn't the only person associated with these seedy characters, but somehow his association hurt his image. This alienated some fans and damaged his public image, ultimately contributing to his declining popularity. He had many legal issues and his run-ins with the law tarnished his public image, which led to a decline in public support. Furthermore, his reputation as a difficult and demanding actor on set earned him a bad reputation among key industry players. These personal and professional challenges further compounded the issues surrounding George's fading popularity. But while his popularity may have waned over time, it's important to recognize the impact he had on the industry. His early successes and memorable performances during Hollywood's golden age shouldn't be overlooked. No one remembers his name today, perhaps only a few laud him, but perhaps a career resurgence and a reflection of his best roles need to be acknowledged. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you remember watching George Raft's movies? What do you think about the fact that few people remember him today? Let us know in the comments section below.